Chicken. You want to say hello? Yeah, you can't touch the camera. <laughs> no, you cannot touch the camera. <laughs> no, you cannot touch the camera. Hey guys, Donna Brown here, work from home queen. And today I hope you're ready for a very, very controversial topic. What is the hardest? Working from home with bubs around you? Working in a job with no kid around you? Or being a stay-at-home mum with no job? Or not, not working, I shouldn't say no job, because you've got a job, but not in uh, paid employment. So this is a heated conversation usually amongst mums. Who's got it hardest? Kid, people that work from home around kids? People who go to work and leave kids at childcare? Or people who don't work in a paid traditional role, but are a full-time stay-at-home mum? And I wanted to have this conversation because I've actually tested all of them. Now, um, I'll give you my uh, perception, my uh, opinion, and I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments and tell me what do you think and what have you been uh, experiencing because I know this is gonna get the, the tongues rolling, but it's a good conversation to have, to see other people's perspective. I popped it down, let's have this conversation. So. Here is my thoughts. I have um, run events and spent had days working where I've had Heidi stay with her grandparents for the entire day. And I've had days where I have done no business work. I've, just, I've made a conscious decision not to check my emails, not to do any work, and um, not to do anything. So I'm gonna base my opinion on stay-at-home mums who don't do paid work on that experience. And then obviously I run a business and I work from home. My opinion is the hardest uh, scenario is the one that I'm living and that is working at home with bubs. This is my personal experience and it is based on Heidi. Obviously different kids have different temperaments and different jobs have different stresses so there's lots of things to consider but in my world spending the day working away from Heidi having her at her grandparents house for the day so I can work um, one of the times I ran an event so I was out of the house for 12 hours was a dream it was easy I didn't have to worry about anything I got so much shit done it was awesome so for those of you that um, are curious about the different types, you know, you might be pregnant with your first kid and you're thinking, how's it going to be? For me personally, dumping her at my folks' place so she could hang out with her grandparents for the day was fan-freaking-tastic for my business. Now, I will say, it was, her being at her grandparents' house is an actual bonus. I don't know if I would have been as relaxed if I had popped her into childcare for the day because I probably would have been thinking about her and worrying about her to make sure she was okay but I know she's going to be perfectly fine with her grandparents she enjoys them they love her they look after her that's not to say that childcare don't look after her but you, you just have this different kind of trust involved when she's with family versus not family so I'm sure popping her into childcare would be a very different situation but in my at the moment not having her on me and running the business slash going to work I'm going to use the the running the business for the day as the same scenario as going and getting a job was fantastic. That was awesome. It was um, not the easiest in the morning and at the night in the sense that I had to get up really early and take her and I had to come home and late at night, you know, um, I think it was like 7 o'clock when I came home but I, had out, I was out of the house at 6am. Um, when I had to feed her and change her and clean her and give her a bath and put her to bed and I had already been working all day so I was pretty tired so mums that work full time and then look after babies when they get home yes it is exhausting so kudos to you but I got a lot of work done being a stay at home mum and not having a traditional paid job is the easiest now before you get your knickers in a knot let me just say that Heidi is a pretty content child. She um, will play happily with herself for quite a while. She's on the floor right now playing. You might hear her squeaking and squawking in the background now and then. 
I um, don't really need to hang out with her all the time. I can clean the house, I can cook, you know, I can make myself lunch, I can do things without having to constantly being attached to her. Even though right now she's at the clingiest stage at six months, um, which is when they realise, you know, mum, I don't want you to get out of my vision. So um, she's actually a pretty good baby. If you had a really whingy baby, a really upset baby, a really um, uh, unwell baby, this probably would be a bit different. But being a stay-at-home mum and not working at all, like on those days where I decided to do no work, was probably the easiest day that I had. The biggest struggle was just getting Heidi to sleep, and that's not because of anything except the fact that the child doesn't like to sleep ever. You know, it's a big rigmarole of could be a two-hour event trying to get her to sleep for freaking 15 minutes. So that is her only downfall. She does not like to sleep. Worst FOMO ever. But anywho, um, so you know, I actually laid on the couch quite a bit. I just watched Netflix. I could have eaten junk food all day if I wanted to. My house is clean. The fridge is full. Um, I'm a pretty organized person, so I don't really get the house to the trash stage anyway, so I didn't really have many things to do. Um, and quite frankly, by the end of the day, I was bored because that's just who I am. What is it, sweetie? Can mommy finish her video, please? And then finally, working from home with Heidi is by far the hardest. Trying to run a business, as you guys know, if you've been following my videos, I ran a business for 10 years from home before I introduced um, a baby into the mix. Um, and maybe that's why it's so hard, because I'm so used to having so much freedom. But if you start a business with a baby, maybe you don't know what you're missing out on in time freedom, so it um, might be easy for you, but for me, Working from home around bubs is probably the hardest uh, option, scenario. Because quite frankly, you basically do, and I've mentioned this before on Facebook, you basically do 200 five minute jobs. Everything is just a five minute job. You can't get through anything in one sweep. You know, besides cooking and cleaning and looking after her and buy, doing the grocery shopping and all the other errands, because I don't have um, anyone else to do that for me, I do it myself. That, I am trying running a business and having mentoring sessions and talking to people and writing Facebook posts and doing everything. Your day is just a schmozzle, like you're just doing shit all over the place in weird times. And what previously took you five minutes might take you three hours to do. Are you squealing at me? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Um, so what previously took you no time at all to do can take you forever to do. Um, you can't, it's really hard to schedule things in because you really don't know how you're going to do it. I do a lot of work at night, so I do a lot of mentoring sessions at night when Heidi goes to bed. It actually works out perfectly because 99% of my clients are actually mums themselves. So they would like to have, you know, receive their mentoring from me when their kids are also in bed. So that's actually a win-win, but it does mean that I don't go to bed early. Like I, last night I had mentoring right up until 10 p.m. Now 10 p.m. is not that late, but it is late when you're waking up three or four times in the middle of the night. So that is my personal experience. Out of the three scenarios of working from home with bugs, being a stay-at-home mum and not in a paid job or running a business, or putting bumps in care and then going to work at your job or run your business, I know the easiest for me is not working, but she is a happy kid. Oh, are you squealing? The hardest is working around her. Yes, it gives me the most flexibility and the most freedom in the sense of earning an income because obviously I can choose when to work, I can um, work how I like, I can work on my, as long as I've got my laptop, I can work anywhere, anytime, which is awesome. But it is by far the most work. It is the hardest, it is the most stressful. And dumping her at care, in my case it's grandparents, was pretty freaking cool to be honest. <laughs> Gotta do more of these days this year in 2016. Anywho, long vlog, because I can hear her whinging because she wants attention. It's not for any other reason. Sweetie, mummy's right here. Yeah, stinky bum. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anywho, what was I saying? Distraction with the babies. Tell me your thoughts. Have you done various options? You know, have you been employed and then now you're a stay-at-home mum and what's it like not working anymore? 
How have you got a business around your baby? How do you find that? What happened when you put your kid in care? How did that make you feel? I love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. Give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like it and help other people find it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. See ya!